Good afternoon, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday, January the 22nd, and today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. And this reading here is for Libra. Welcome Libra. I'm using two new card decks. One is the Oracle, the Rose Oracle, and one is the Good Tarot. And I'm using two cards of each deck. And the reading starts with the Rose Oracle card. And the card number one for you is called the Anointed. And the anointed is about answering the call, leadership, empowerment, and soul gifts. Rose oil has been used to anoint initiates through the ages and royalty as well. So this card is here to herald you into an even more powerful expression of what you came here to be and to do. It is calling you to step forth into your inner queen queendom and kingdom to answer the creator's call of your soul and face your true north, to send even more of what you came here to share, to acknowledge your arrival as the initiate of your life to shed the external noise that may have been stopping you from being all that you already are to realize that you have been training for this for a long time perhaps even life times the past your soul chose to walk is one that few have the courage to walk and you came here for this you are being led through this your soul is ancient and with every step you have taken in every body you have been planted in you have gathered a kaleidoscope of gifts that are ready to be shown and shared you are being called to deeply trust the call that you have been hearing to lead to lead and to lead the path you are here to pave has not been walked the way you will walk it and as with all ancient initiates healers visionaries creatives and leaders you are just one magnificent thread in the tapestry of life so go your own way trust the road and beckons that beckons you for us and always be led from within ask this soul inquiry how am I being called to step forward and to lead? Card number two is Sophia. And Sophia relates to the divine plan, to wisdom, intelligence within, and destiny. Sophia is a Greek word meaning wisdom. Sophia is thought to have been a force present at the time of creation and is often presented as a woman. This turns our patriarchal understanding of a soul male god responsible for our creation on its head. In the Bible's book of Proverbs, Sophia says, I was present at the beginning of the creation, participating at the side of the Lord in the work of creation. Many scholars and art historians 
They believe that a female figure beside God in Michelangelo's painting of the Sistine Chapel ceiling is a representation of Sophia. The philosopher Rudolf Steiner believed that the ancient Egyptian mother goddess Isis was an incarnation of Sophia. The galaxy overlapping the spiral of the rose on this card is a mystical representation of Sophia as holder of the divine plan. The intelligence that tells the rose when to open and the planet how to spin also exists within you. So this card brings with it a message to trust the intelligence that brought you here. Have faith that the blueprint of your destiny is already known. What secret dreams do you have? What are you being called to say yes to or to create? Sophia embraces the cosmos. She holds the blueprint of creation. No person or thing is left out. So call upon her to guide you. Rest in the intelligence that exists within yourself. Trust that you know what to do. Trust the blueprint within you and allow the seeds of your destiny to guide you. Say this rose transmission. I trust in the divine plan. Activate the intelligence within myself and unlock and act on my most expensive destiny now. And we come to the good tarot deck and there are some changes made even though in the original tarot sorts also relates to sinking and air and cups to water and pentacles to earth and the ones to fire. Here in this deck, there are no swords, cups, pentacles, and wands. They are replaced by air, water, earth, and fire. And the first card is for you, the Empress. The Empress relates to fertility. So say this. This is a wonderful time to give birth to new ideas and experiences. Nourishment is assured as I step into a new version of myself. My life is rich and ripe with possibility that I can manifest and create. I am a powerful co-creator and life loves me right now. My world is brimming with potential and infinite possibility that will manifest for the highest good. And the second card is the seven of air relating to independence, non-conformity, living life on one's own terms without people pleasing. See this, now is the time for me to live life on my own terms, so I must find the courage to reject conformity. Listening to my yearning for independence is key to breaking free of groupthink and attending to my own needs. Diplomacy with others can help me to be true to my call to do what I know what I know I must do for 
myself. And the mystical shaman oracle card that came out is the beautiful tree of life. Yeah, the tree of life, that beautiful, beautiful tree. The tree of life is a sacred symbol throughout the Americas. It is deep roots. It has deep roots which reach into the lower world, the unconscious, while its branches, they reach to the heavens, the source of destiny. To be whole in your life's journey, it is important to have deep roots and high branches. A tall tree with shallow roots falls in the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather any storm. There is an invitation to find health and balance in your life, reflect on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts and your feelings. If you are too much in your thinking head or in a world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and your physical body. If you are caught in mechanical doing and you are feeling stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longings. There is a medicine aspect. What nutrients do you need to add to your soil to grow strong? The seed of the oak will not grow on barren ground or without the light of the sun. So ask what dreams do I want to awaken to to create a mindful destiny? Reflect on how you want to blossom, the kind of fruit you want to produce and where you want to sow your new seeds. Be a conscious creator. That was your reading, Libra. I do thank you for listening. I wish you a most joyous whole week. Take care and goodbye.